Welcome you all to the video lecture on signals and system. Today we are going to find the Z transform of the given X of N and also its associated ROC. So we know the Z transform formula is X of Z is equal to summation N equal to minus infinity to infinity X of N Z power minus N. First we need to determine the range of your X of N. Since they have given arrow here, right? So, since they have given arrow here, meaning that x of n, the value is 3 at n equal to 0, and then again 0 exists at n equal to 1. This value exists at n equal to 2. Since it is n equal to 0, the left hand side we have to start with minus 1. So, this value exists at n equal to minus 1 this value exists at n equal to minus 2. So, meaning that at n equal to minus 2, x of minus 2 value is 2. At n equal to minus 1, x of minus 1 value is minus 1. At n equal to 0, x of 0 value is 3. At n equal to 1, x of 1 the value is 0. At n equal to 2, x of 2 the value is 2. So, using this value I have written this right. So, and also we can determine that range, range of n. What is the range of n? In this problem it is minus 2 to 2 ok. So, in the general formula we have range from minus infinity to infinity, but actual range is minus 2 to 2. So, I can rewrite the expression as n equal to minus 2 to 2 x of n z power minus n. So, now expand the series. So, substitute n equal to minus 2 x of minus 2 z power minus of minus 2 is plus 2 and then plus x of minus 1 z power plus 1. Substitute n is equal to 0 x of 0 z power minus 0 substitute n is equal to 1 x of 1 z power minus 1 substitute n is equal to 2 x of 2 z power minus 2. So, now from these values I can write what is x of minus 2 x of minus 1 x of 0 x of 1 x of 2. So, x of minus 2 is 2 into z square and x of minus 1 is minus 1 z ok z power 1 is z and x of 0 is 3. So, 3 z power 0 is 1 ok. So, I can leave that and then x of 1 is 0. So, 0 into z power minus 1 anyway that value is 0 plus x of 2 is 2, 2 into z power minus 2. So, I can write that x of z is 2 z square minus z plus 3 plus z power minus 2. So, this is the z transform of x of n that is x of z and also they have asked associated ROC. So, for finding out the ROC we require the properties of ROC. So, with the properties of ROC we can write that for finite duration for finite duration non causal signal the ROC is entire z plane except z equal to 0 and z equal to infinity. So, why it is finite duration? We have x of n values only for finite values from minus n equal to minus 2 to 2. Okay, I am not having from minus infinity to infinity or 0 to infinity. Okay, so, only 5 values I have. So, it is finite duration. Why it is non-causal? It exists for n equal to 0 and n greater than or equal to 0 and n less than 0. Okay, hence it is called non-causal signal. So, from the properties of ROC we can say that for finite duration non-causal signal ROC is entire z plane except z equal to 0 and z equal to infinity.